Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Quick wristwatch check, Paddock Philippe World Time 5110. Tailored shirt, initials on sleeve. Thank you, Fed, for the shirts. Okay, today I am very, very proud. Today I've taken, I've claimed my first ministerial scalp. That's right, I have had the downfall of a minister. Sterling Hinchcliffe has resigned. And uh, it's one of my proudest days. It really is one of my proudest days. And it's due to me. I'm the reason that Sterlo, Sterlo pushed the samurai sword into his heart. And i got to tell you, there's a lot of nasty shit going on at QR. And I'm not one way political or the other. I hate both sides. And i got to tell you, i got to tell you, there is some nasty grotters going on there. I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to shut up until QR starts delivering decent services for normal, everyday people who just want to get to work on time. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of nasty, nasty shit at QR. Absolute nasty, nasty shit. And it's very sad, Sterlo. I am so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry I didn't sink the boot into you harder. I'm so sorry I didn't kick it harder, Sterlo. I mean, what an absolute disgrace. Everything QR does, they run by the legal team to claim legal privilege. Legal privilege, legal privilege, legal privilege. Well, I ain't fucking started yet. I'm going to be kicking strong. And uh, i got to tell you, I'm not one way political or the other. Do you think I wanted that Jackie Trad woman in charge? I mean, come on, Sterlo. I know you're an aloof bastard who never fucking returned my calls who never picked up the phone, who never wrote to me, never did nothing. But come on, I'd prefer you over Trad any day of the fucking week. Sterlo, Sterlo, what am I supposed to do with that Jesus skit I had made? What the fuck am I, sp I supposed to be using that for the next 12 months? And uh, i got to tell you, Sterlo, it's a fucking sad day. It's a sad day, Sterlo, but... Uh, I've got to be completely honest with you. It couldn't happen to a nicer fucking minister. Fuck you, Sterlo. You never fucking took my cause. You're above me. Well, I claimed my first ministerial scalp, and it fucking couldn't happen to a nicer bastard. That's all I can say there. That is all I can say. It's just nasty, nasty shit. The cover-ups in QR, you think I'm going to stop? No, 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 indeed. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's the lies, the poor culture, and the use of legal privilege to hide everything. I've been intimidated by executives at QR. I have been, I've had a private investigator come after me to photograph me in my home. I ain't fucking scared. I ain't scared. This is not the Church of Scientology. This is a public body. You bastards should be ashamed of yourself. Absolute ashamed of yourself. The number of cover-ups you've hidden with legal privilege, it's disgusting. The INDEC report, I'm the one who leaked it. I'm the one who's responsible for the Eurostars. That's right. With Helen Glue and Kevin Wright on the front page of the Sunday Mail. That was my fucking leak. That was my leak. I'm glad it fucking hurt, Sterlo. <coughs> I am glad it fucking hurt. And uh, you were useless. You never once fucking had the courtesy to pick up the phone. Talk to me. Talk to me, Sterlo. No, 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 no. Well, all I can say is you got the ass. It couldn't happen to a more deserving asshole than you. That's all I can fucking say. 
and I'm proud to have your ministerial scalp on my back fucking wall. I can tell you that much now. It's an absolute honour, absolute honour to have a scalp like yours on my fucking wall. So, uh, Sterlo, a bit of silver I'll be putting on the wall there to celebrate the demise of your fucking career. The demise of your career. And I've got to tell you what, this Jackie woman, we'll see how it goes. I'll start writing to her soon, but Jesus Christ, you know, the Jackie woman there, what can I say? What can I say indeed? I didn't want you to go, Sterlo, but I, I, you wouldn't fucking take my calls. You wouldn't respond to my correspondence. You wouldn't help me. Work with me, big boy, not against me. Well, I had to do what I had to do. I had to do what I had to do. I am sick of all the cover-ups. And uh, let me say this to you, Anastasia. Anastasia, this is a warning. This has got to be a warning. You've got to fucking open up and have a cannibal government. This is a disgrace. I will, with honour, leak like a sim. I will leak like a sim. And uh, I tell you what. I tell you what, I ain't fucking going nowhere. I'll be leaking more stuff. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, all I want is reliable, affordable, decent public rail transport. It could be so good, but it, it's, it's just not going to happen. We all know it's not going to happen. So, uh, I just want to say, Sterlo, I'm so sorry you got the ass. It couldn't happen to a more deserving asshole like you. Archie Luxury signing out. My first ministerial scout fuckers. Hello, Sterling Hinchcliffe. This is Jesus. I've been protecting you, Sterling, for a very long time. Why can't you please release some of Paul Pluta's RTI requests? I don't want to get nasty, Sterling, but um, lots of other people... That uh, Anastasia woman and uh, Jackie Trad have been praying for you to get run over by a big Brisbane City Council bus. Please help Paul out, Sterling. <laughs>